I'm here with Westfield senior quarterback and Lehigh commit Hank Shapiro. So, Hank, last day of senior year, how are you feeling? Uh, relieved, excited, a bunch of emotions. I mean, I'm really going to miss the high school. I had a lot of great experiences there, but definitely ready for a new chapter and excited to move on and do some great things. And you committed to Lehigh just over one year ago. What set it apart and why would you commit? Uh, well, I knew Lehigh was a perfect fit for me. Um, and the reason for that was because I knew it had a great balance of academics and athletics. Lehigh is a great school. I know I could further my education at a high level there. But I also knew that I wanted to balance out with athletics. I wasn't just going for school. I wanted to play at a big-time football program. So with that, I wanted a school that really cared about its football program because there are a lot of schools that are high in academics, but not necessarily the highest um, – football school. So I really wanted a school that appreciated the football program and the athletics at the school. So that's really what set Lehigh apart for me. It was a school that loved their football team. Lots of fans went. They really cared. And you were a three-sport athlete in high school, football, basketball, and lacrosse. Do you think that really helped you on the football field? Oh, without a doubt. I think it helped me uh, mentally, physically, and as a leader. So mentally, it's just learning different strategies through the three different sports that I could apply. Um, and then being a better teammate, I think, was the thing that I took away most from it because when you lead in one sport, like in football, the kids you play with in basketball and lacrosse are so different. So you really have to learn how to lead and learn how to follow other leaders for, like from all different ways of teaching and all that stuff. So you just have to find the different people and you get to learn so much because of that. And also physically, there's a lot of different movements between those three sports. So I think that helped me a ton. Football helped me with uh, basketball and lacrosse. And then basketball and lacrosse obviously helped me a ton with football with my athleticism. So I think all three sports really just helped me grow as a leader and as an athlete uh, throughout my three years. And I don't regret uh, playing three sports at all. So next year, you're set to play three of your high school teammates, Will Kessler, De Declan McCauley, and Griffin Rooney. You guys – at uh, Lehigh have a winning record against all three schools. So what can you expect in those games? Oh, well, I expect a win and nothing less, but um, there's going to, those are going to be some battles. I mean, there are three great players against three, uh, with three great teams. So, I mean, that's going to be super exciting to see them on the field and play against them for the first time because those guys are some of my best friends in life and we work out together and we, uh, we went through the trenches together, like through the summer and through the season. So, just being able to play them now, it's going to be so, so much fun. And then, But there's no way I'm going away without a win. We're going to keep those winning records going. You were a three-year starter at Westfield High School with six career rushing touchdowns, and four of those came in your senior year. Do you think there was one specific change that you made during your senior year? Yeah, um, specific change, no. But I think as I got older, the rushing aspect of my game became a lot more strategic. So what I was able to do was I was able to recognize defenses more and understand player tendencies. And so I was obviously not a run first guy, but so as I became older, I started to see things in the defense that allowed me to make more efficient runs and understand when to pull the ball from the back or uh, keep a design QB run and do a certain move or whatever it may be. I think just the progression of just being in the offense for three years helped me with my rushing abilities. So in your junior year, you guys were four and seven, and you flipped that around last year and went seven and four. What did you and your team do to make that change? Yeah, junior year was definitely a tough one because we, coming off the 37-game win streak, it was definitely a shock. And when we lost that first game, it really turned the season for the kind of the worst, but it was, it was just definitely a hard hit for our team. And then being able to come back as seniors because our class was so strong growing up and we knew that we had to have a strong senior year. And I think it really started in the summer where we had a bunch of guys take leadership roles, work extra hard, get in the weight room and do all the little things correctly throughout the summer. So they, so we could be as beneficial as a team uh, in the, in the fall, which I think we were, I think we really just, we turned the ship going from four and seven to seven and four. So I really, it really just falls on all the seniors just, knowing their role, doing it to the best of their ability, and helping the underclassmen um, understand how, what it takes to be on varsity. And you mentioned the 37-game game win streak that Westfield went on three, three straight years with the state championship. You got to start in one of those games as a sophomore. How much confidence did that give you going into the rest of your career, really? Yeah, I mean, it definitely taught me how to win, and I think that's one of the things that um, really showed, like, those seniors 
that year really influenced my grade a ton. They they knew how to win the right way. They knew how to work hard. They knew how to be a team to be reckoned with in the state. And that's kind of what we based our image off of. So being able to learn so much my sophomore year on the field and off the field with those teammates and then playing those opponents, obviously, for three years, that those games really helped me develop as a player. And I also think in the recruiting process as well. And you guys played Bridgewater Raritan in all three of those state championships. Last year, you threw for a career high 317 yards and three touchdowns against them. Do you think it really helped you and you kind of figured out how they play in those state championships to help you last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I know for our coaches, that was the most – so during the regular season, we actually lost to them. So that was, that was a really tough one, and the coaches were not going to let that happen again. Neither was the team. And I felt like they did an excellent job of preparing for us the first time around. And that kind of showed because they also played us the first three years, just like you said. So they knew what we were about. I think that's really what uh, hit us home the first time around when we lost. So then the, when we were able to respond and we've had such a good team, game as a team really came together in that second half, I think it was really because of the first game, the preparation, and then also the three state championships. We were able to learn from our mistakes in those games – take from the positives and we were able to come away with an awesome win that game. And do you think the Lehigh kind of fits you well? Because last year they, they doubled their rushing first downs with their passing first downs. So do you think that's a good fit for you going into next year? Yeah, I think Lehigh is a great fit going in for me. I love the offensive coordinator, Coach Brisson. I'm talking a lot to, to a lot of my teammates right now over Zoom calls. And I think this, they want to throw the ball at Lehigh, and I think that's really what I'm built for as well. So being able to go in there and just sling the ball around all over the field is really what I want, and I think that's what Lehigh provides for me. So I think it is a perfect fit. And earlier you were talking about how it's not only great athletics but also academics. Uh, throughout high school, you were a writer and a business manager for Hi-Zai, the Westfield School paper. You're going in as a business major, so – did that influence your choice? Oh yeah, definitely. I thought I've, I really, I'm going in as a business major, but I don't really have a, like a certain plan. I'm going to try and do marketing, but not, I'm not set on anything, but I think being a business manager on the highs, I was an unbelievable experience because I got to meet other people that weren't also on my sports team that loved writing for the paper. If there's, if there's something that I can do at Lehigh for them, the broad and white, I might try and do that. But I think the business aspect of the, um, highs I really did attract me to keep going down that road. I think it was just super interesting and something that I could see myself doing in the future. And earlier we were talking about how three of your old high school teammates are also in the Patriot League. So do you think you guys are going to bond more or are you going to become rivals during those games? Um, so during the game, I mean, we'll definitely be rivals. There's no doubt about that. But I know those friendships with those guys aren't going away anytime soon. Um, we're still working out together, and we're, those bonds will actually probably get tighter since I'm going to be able to see them once a year, definitely. And then also when we're home, we're still going to be working out together because we want to try and be better than each other. That's really what's going to come down to. So, yes, rivals on the field. So we mentioned three-sport athlete. Basketball, can you explain, I think we all know about that Newark East Side game. Can you just explain those emotions that, like, towards the end of the year, just before coronavirus kind of took over the year, can you explain those emotions? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that basketball season was definitely one to remember. And obviously people know basketball probably isn't my first sport, but I love playing basketball. I love the guys on that team, and I, I think it's just a great experience overall. So that team had a group of seven seniors that came up together that is super, super tight. So being able to go out with a win like that, and then I, we did lose another game, but having a signature win, our name, our uh, graduation year is going to be in that banner forever. That is something that you can't really replicate. It's really, truly special. And I know winning that game, like with all the students rushing the court, I mean, the emotion that I felt most was pride. Like we earned this, this is our team. Like we had like, I think, 10 to 12 guys playing that game and we still won like this is our feet this is the town revolving around us so I think that's really what showed everybody that like we did this like this is our moment we deserve this so I think pride really took over there and then with coronavirus hitting 
that I was really happy we got to get into our we got to finish our basketball season. So that was good, but we didn't really under, we didn't really get the banquet that was supposed to be like a week later. So we didn't get to reflect on those moments. But the fact that we got it in really, I think, brought our team closer together. And for the even though the senior year was cut short, I think it did have a good way to close considering all considering circumstances. I would say. And do you think head coach McKeon could see the bond between you and the other seniors since a lot of you played together? on the football field, someone on the lacrosse field, do you think that bond was clear to see? Absolutely, and I think it's even uh, more prevalent because Coach McKean uh, was our JV coach when we were all sophomores. So I think it was, out of those seven guys, it was five, I think it was probably six of us who were on that JV team with him too. So we really saw us grow together, and he was also watching football games. He was also, well, he was coaching in football games. He was watching lacrosse games too, to see all of us kind of bond together. And it didn't really matter what sport we were playing. Like those seven seniors were always best buds. And no matter where they were, it could have been on the field, in the classroom, in the hallway, wherever it may be, those guys were always close to each other. And that's why we were so good in basketball. I think Coach McKeon even brought us closer together as a coach. And I think the whole coaching staff did that as well. All right. Now just some quick facts about you. If you were to throw and have the chance to play with one wide receiver, who would you choose? Like NFL or like? Uh, dead or alive, NFL, whoever. Ooh, let's do uh, – probably have to go with Michael Thomas. I mean, he's just a stud. He runs some great routes and makes a lot of plays. That's probably my favorite wide receiver in the NFL right now, and I think he's always open. So that's someone who I would throw to. And we, we see you throwing on the run a lot. Do you think that would uh, influence your choice in that? Um, yeah, because I think he does – when I watch the Saints, I think he finds Drew Brees well. And since – so being on the run a lot, that, that could help a ton. So you just talked about Drew Brees. Do you ever watch college and NFL quarterbacks and not take notes, but like leave a mental mark and try to pick stuff from their game? Absolutely. I mean, one of my favorite uh, pro quarterbacks is Tom Brady, and then I'm a Jets fan. So the reason I respect him, mean, he's on the Buccaneers now, but the reason I respect him so much is because he would just shred apart the Jets year after year and always take usually two wins against my team. And I just respected that so much because from when he was a rookie trying to win a job to now he's like 42 years old, his preparation never changed. He always worked his best to make sure that he was the number one quarterback in the in the league so that made him the greatest player of all time in my eyes his preparation really just set him apart he talked about his worth at work ethic I think we can see that in your game just always trying to get better starting on varsity as a sophomore you really haven't haven't slowed down in your progression thank you yeah that's definitely what I've been uh trying for myself I mean I'm at Keller all the time I'm always trying I'm always in the weight room just trying to uh, tweak and make myself better as a whole. Just do anything possible. Take all the criticism and turn it into positive like construction to my game. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for talking. I'm Michael Cerrotti with Lehigh Commit quarterback Hank Shapiro. Thank you so much.